Hey girl. Hey girl. Aren't you girl? Hey what? Girl. Ten minutes. Ha <laughs> ha. Locked out. Hi baby girl. She's so pumped back there. Take her to the dog park. Get this energy out of her. <laughs> Zen, relax. I know we're here. We're at the dog park. Sit. Go 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 go. What? What a meanie. <laughs> Making friends with the dog park. The dog park. Oh, hey, you're too much. All right, the moment's finally come. 30 days, I've done 100 push-ups and 100 squats, and I even added 100 mountain climbers. 30 days in a row, non-stop. Week one was tough. By the time I got to the 100th rep, I was just done. But thankfully, I was usually ready to get back at it the next day. But after like the second week, things started getting even harder. I don't know what happened. You'd think it'd start getting easier, right? But I was starting to get sore pretty often and it was tough to get all the way through the 100 reps. Third week was like mismatched. Like I'd have a couple great days and then I'd have a couple days where it was like, it was just not happening. Finally, by the time I got to that fourth week, man, it just seemed like it was second nature. It was so easy to get myself to do it. I did, there was no like hesitation, like, oh, do I feel like doing this? Do I want to do this? I didn't, I just did it and it felt great. That leads us to this moment right now, day 30, and I'm about to start my 100 push ups for the day. When I did this 30 days ago, I was saying, I'm not gonna add reps, it's gonna be 100 reps a day but I want them to be better. I want to do fuller push-ups. Let's see if I accomplish that at all. <laughs> so my push-ups about 30 days ago looked a lot like this. <laughs> but now I can do them kind of more like this. And it's a lot more full because I'm, you know, going all the way down and all the way back up. So I couldn't do that 30 days ago. Oh. Bugs me every time. Okay, Zen. As for these mountain climbers, I started off only doing 50 a day. And uh, within about a week, I moved up to 100 a day. And these are probably the toughest thing. I've only started them recently. Been doing push-ups for about six months now, on and off. Squats for about three months, on and off. But uh, mountain climbers are new, man. So I'll do 50 like this. And then I'll do it 50 like this. Oh, Zen. Stop, I'm vlogging. Like this. That way I'm kind of getting like all the muscles. I don't no idea what I'm doing. Don't take my advice. Okay, now we're gonna get, I'm gonna get into the, do the, we're gonna, we're gonna squat, squat. So ever since I was a kid, I've always had those little chicken legs. Just no muscle in the leg. And because I never worked out at all, especially never worked out the legs, getting into squats was actually pretty difficult for me. But I managed to do two reps of 50 every day reaching out to 100 squats a day. I definitely feel the squats getting better. I definitely feel more stable in my legs and that's pretty cool. Ah, oh, 50, 50, 50, 50. So I showed you my before body shot that uh, basically it's got a lot of fat, no muscles. Got the skinny fat thing going on. This is where I'm at, the before, okay? I got a little bit of muscle maybe. I don't know, I used to work out a lot and then I just got lazy and this is where this freaking thing came from. Yeah, the gut. Looks like I still got some of this fat. Just a little bit, you see it ripple in there. But it's definitely tightening up. Definitely feel like muscles have become a thing. I didn't really have muscles before. I just got too lazy. A little bit of something. Oh, I know. Don't know what I'm doing. Just because I did this for 30 days doesn't really mean I got many results because I didn't get many results. But what I did get out of this is a little bit of discipline, a little bit of like, I felt good about myself. I felt proud that I could do this every day. And it's so cool to start something and then to see it progressively get easier, and to see progress and to feel progress most of all. That's the best part. Look, I got muscles kind of. You know what? I'm going to keep on doing this. I'm going to try to keep this up for 100 days. Because think about it. 100 push-ups, 100 squats, 100 mountain climbs for 100 days. That's good clickbait. <laughs> Feeling pretty good. Time to take a shower. I mean, I gotta do that again and then take a shower. Showered up, feeling good, feeling uh, spiky. 
they say half the battle in trying to get fit is eating healthier. You gotta eat healthy, you gotta eat moderation, you can't go crazy. And even though, like I said, I'm working out on and off for six months, I've been eating like shit like 100% of the time for six months. And when I say like shit, I, we said this before, we're vegan, we, we eat generally healthy, no animal products, which is good. But we also indulge in a lot of vegan junk foods that have like cooked oils or sugar. Tina's been killing it lately though with these good foods. You saw the oatmeal we had a couple days ago. Check out these salads. Baby, let's hear it. Quinoa, sweet potato, tofu, blended it, has Thai sauce from uh, carrots and dates on top. Ooh, since we've been eating like this the past three days, four days, maybe a week even, eh? I don't know, I haven't craved junk food in a while because like, I don't know, after you eat a big bowl like this, it's hard to crave anything, man. <laughs> so let's go. Been working on some new music, so watch out. I got that shit coming soon. So you can <laughs> Tita's fing me. I'm not sure. Come on. I'm in the shot now. Hey, I I almost fell. Oh, that hand and she <laughs> Ew. Anyway, thanks for watching the vlog. Make sure you subscribe because uh, you know what? We're making all sorts of crazy videos. We're gonna be moving into a van soon. Uh, I'm gonna get jacked. Help me! Help me! We're gonna buy one wheels. Goodbye. Peace.